Good evening. It has gone from bad to worse. Parts of flooded Pike County under a curfew tonight because of looting. Authorities say several cases of theft have forced them to order people off the streets in five areas of the county. The curfew went into effect tonight from 9 to 6 in the morning. Gabriel Rojas reports on the crackdown on crime in an area already dealing with widespread devastation in our top story at 11. This is the worst that we've ever seen. Shanna May is one of the lucky ones. Her flood damage was limited to her basement, so her family is able to remain in their home. A few houses down the street, neighbors are not so fortunate. We may move because it's just total destruction. There is no comparison. This is, this is the worst. Brenta Barb and Danita Thompson had to take their families to stay with relatives, but by day they come back here to try to salvage whatever possessions they can. Painful work made all the more difficult since looters throughout the area have been on the hunt. They're taking parts of people's lives that they've already lost. That's why state police are working with local officials to enforce a curfew they hope will put a stop to the thefts. Anything that you can salvage and you're storing, anyone can come in and take. Part of what prompted the curfew were reports of thieves going door to door under the guise of offering help, then stealing medication or anything of value from houses with no one at home. I hope this curfew will stop it. I hope everyone abides by it. You know, I hope it, I hope it works. I've been very thankful there's someone out there 24-7. For those with little left to call their own, police want to safeguard whatever they can. I hope so, because these people have lost enough. In Pike County, Gabriel Rojas, WKYT 27 News First. Well, earlier tonight, the governor signed an executive order to trigger the state's price gouging law to protect flood victims from inflated prices on everything from gasoline to hotel rooms. 